We're at Eagle Landing Golf Course in Happy Valley, Oregon to take on another hole-in-one only challenge. Today's matchup, we have Brandon versus Tyrell. Rules are simple. We cannot advance holes until someone gets a hole in one. Oh my god! Yes! Person with the least amount of aces after six holes gets punished. <laughs> well, it's raining outside. I really don't know what happened. Probably about a few hours ago, it was sunny out. It looked like a real nice day. They knew we were mini golfing, so it had to rain. All the time. Hole one is a fairly straight 22 foot putt towards the pin. Even the rain couldn't hold us back. <laughs> we would get our first hole out after only six minutes. Oh, that ball is really going right with mine. All right, I know the line. There it is. Nope. Ah! Thought I had it. Yeah, I'm still trying to find that line. <laughs> there it is. No! Oh, I get come back. The bank. No, not enough, not enough speed. Nope. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh my God. There it is. And with that putt, Tyrell captures the first point of the game, taking an early lead. Well, like usual, I take hole one. The pressure's on again. The pressure's always on, it feels like, when I'm on this channel, so <laughs> nothing new. Hole two is a slight dog leg right 23 foot putt towards the pin. This would be the fastest hole out yet, only taking one minute. Close. Yeah, you can see it's pretty, like, straight on, you know? Way too hard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and just like that, Brandon would find himself in an early 2-0 deficit. Could Brandon overcome this bad start? Wow, you gotta be kidding me. I'm getting rained on out here in the weather and also rained on right now by Tyrell just sinking those. Coming out strong, but I need to finish strong. Hole three is a slight right to left downhill putt towards the pin. I don't know how I'm playing this, so I'm getting a hole one. Something was in the rain today, cause we would hole out at record speed. Oh, ah, let's go, we're back in it, come on. Brandon wasted no time scoring his first point, now only down one halfway through. Uh-oh, do we have a comeback in the making? I don't know, I smell something cooking. Hole four is a sharp dog leg left putt with a rock trap halfway to the pin. Both of us would struggle early. Not a good start. What am I doing? but we still managed to hole out after only two minutes. Nope. Oh! I think that double bounce might be the way. Oh, that's it! Oh, I thought you threw the club. Just like that, Brandon ties this game back up with two holes remaining. Well, you came back, but I can't let you take the lead. Yeah, I gotta do what I have to do, but uh, hopefully we can keep the pedal to the metal. Put Tyrell in his grave. Not like this. Hole five is a long left to right putt over a bridge into a downhill slope towards the pin. With such a long sloped putt, we knew we might be here a while. This is gonna be a hard hole. Even after Brandon almost lost his ball to a pond, we still managed to get lucky enough to hole out after only four minutes. Nope. Oh! Come on, man. Come on! 
Brandon sinks another shot going from two points down early to up one heading into the final hole. Wow, I went from easy win to choke artist real fast. You see it here first ever time here. Uh, a comeback for me, can you believe it? Let's just tie it. Hole six is an extremely long but fairly straight 35 foot putt to determine the victor. Should I just walk off right here on Tyro? Let's see. Nope, there would be no walk-off for Brandon, but this would be our longest hole of the day, clocking in at five minutes. This is gonna be another hard one. I need this. Sadly, I see your confidence just glowing right now. <laughs> That's the play, though. Nope. No! Oh! Oh, that wasn't good. Nope. Ooh. Close, but no cigar. That's what I'm looking for. Bam! Oh! I knew it! With that putt, Tyrell is able to salvage his great start, resulting in a tie game. No one could take the outright lead, making both players today's big losers. I bought a tube of Russian astronaut pizza flavored space food. For their punishment, they get to try this out of the world paste. It smells like tuna. Mmm, does smell like tuna. When does pizza smell like tuna though? It can't be that bad, right? It's supposed to be pizza. Yeah, usually bad pizza is still pretty good pizza. Well, I'll go first. Alright. How do I have? <laughs> big amount, big amount. Mm. It's actually not that bad. Weird texture, I'll give it that. Yeah, it's like uh, like a weird texture of SpaghettiOs. Okay, going down's not that good. It is Ugh. pouring out here, oh my God. Not the worst thing I've had, but definitely not the texture and the the temperature of it is disgusting as well. Best so far out of the astronaut paste. No. 